Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and today we are going to talk about Intune deployment scenarios. As an administrator, it's a very critical and important task to plan Intune infrastructure deployment which will cater all the organization needs. This task is even more critical for an organization when they are already using any other device management solution and they want to keep all existing capabilities of currently using solution and want to add additional capabilities like conditional access, multi-factor authentication, etc. So let's start this module. So in the last module, we talked about what is device management, why we need device management solution as well as the in introduction of Microsoft Intune. In this module, we are going to talk about prerequisites and Intune deployment scenario. So there are mainly four to five types of scenario and according to the organization need, admin can plan the Intune implement implementation and migration. So the very first scenario is when organization is not using any MDM solution which is a very common scenario and mostly applicable for newly established organization. We will be discussing what are the options available for an admin in this scenario. The second scenario is when organization is already using a third party MDM solution like mobile iron or AirWatch. Third scenario is when organization is using a configuration manager also known as as a SCCM, which is an on-prem solution for device management. And the fourth scenario is when organization is using a group policy object to manage the device. And this is the traditional way of managing the device. Still, some companies are using only GPU to manage and configure the Windows device. These are especially applicable for this small organizations. And the last option could be a tenant to tenant migration where one company is purchasing another company and both the companies having their own Intune tenant for device management. Let's talk about Intune prerequisite. So Intune is a standalone licensed Azure service as well as a part of enterprise mobility plus security also known as EMS suits. And Intune is also included with Microsoft 365 subscription. So if we have any of these subscription, we can deploy Intune and manage the devices. Now let's discuss about Intune deployment setup or how to migrate from any other MDM solution to Microsoft Intune. This table will help you to plan better when deploying or moving to Intune or adopting Intune as an MDM mobile device management solution to manage your device or MAM which is mobile application management solution to manage application on the device. We have to choose a migration approach that most suitable for our organization need. We can definitely adjust implementation strategies based on the organization need. So we are going to discuss all this scenario in details in, a, in a next few slides. So very first scenario is when organization is not using any MDM solution. In this scenario, we have a two option available. The first option is to go for Intune plus Endpoint Manager as a cloud sol solution for device management. If you go with this option, then we will get a compliance and configuration policies, deployment, Windows update management, as well as the app feature, application deployment feature in Intune. <clears throat> we will also get a benefit of Endpoint Manager Admin Center portal, which is a web-based console to create and deploy policy and app from anywhere in the world. The second option is to use a configuration manager, which is also known as a SCCM plus Endpoint Manager, which is known as a Intune. So if you want the feature of configuration manager, which is an on-prem device management solution combined with cloud, then we need to plan for tenant attach or co-management to manage the workload between these two tool sets. With configuration manager, 
admin can manage on premises devices including windows servers and windows 8.1 we can manage the third party app deployments update deployments we can create a custom as task sequence and can deploy operating system on a bare metal we can deploy and manage all types of application including app v apps which is a application virtualization app the second scenario in intune infrastructure deployment is when we are using a third party mdm solution to manage a device so important point is that a device can only be managed with one mdm solution if an organization is using another mdm provider such as workspace one or mobile rn or mass 60 and want to move to intune then user must unroll their device from current management solution and then unroll their device in intune if you are moving from mdm or mam provider to intune then we should follow these ms recommendations so we need to note the currently running task and the feature we are using this information gives us us an idea of what to do or where to get a start in intune when device are unenrolled they are not receiving any policies including protection policies they are vulnerable until they enroll in intune so in this case we should be using conditional access to block device until they are enroll in intune we need to document unenrollment and enrollment steps and we should use a phased approach start with a small group of pilot users and then add more group until we reach the full scale deployment monitoring the help text load and enrollment success of each phase gives some cooling period to evaluate success criteria for each group before migrating uh, before starting the migration of next phase so when you are satisfied with the first phase of migration repeat the migration cycle for the next phase repeat the cycle until all users are migrated to intune the third scenario when we are using configuration manager so SCCM is a on-premises device management solution which can be easily integrated with Intune. Configuration Manager supports Windows and Mac OS devices and Windows Server. If we are currently using Configuration Manager also known as SCCM and want to use Intune then we have a four option. The very first option is a tenant attach. So tenant attach allow admin to upload configuration manager device to intune this is also known as a cloud attach and once the device are cloud attached we can use the intune to run remote actions such as synchronizing the machine and uh, user policy get the os information inventory and other inventory best part is that with this option we no need to purchase any additional license because that license is already purchased when we are purchasing the configuration manager this is the easiest way to integrate the cloud with on-premises uh, device management solution like in this case the configuration manager so so to simplify this concept so consider a scenario where you have a tv which is not a smart tv and you want to make it a smart TV. You can use some smart sticks available in the market and attach to your TV and so that TV will be a smart TV. So same concept apply in this scenario. In this case, SCSM is a not a cloud, not a cloud based solution and with tenant attached and in tune, which is a cloud based solution, you can manage the device from the admin center portal. So the second option is to enable a co-management. Co-management is, is a state where a device is going to manage from two different tool sets. In this case, device is going to be managed from configuration manager, which is a on-premises device management tool and uh, your Intune is a cloud-based solution. 
दिस ऑप्शन अलाउ अस टू परफॉर्म सम वर्कलोड अलाउ अस टू परफॉर्म सम वर्कलोड फ्रॉम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मैनेजर एंड सम वर्कलोड फ्रॉम इन ट्यून सो देर आर सिक्स टू सेवन वर्कलोड अवेलेबल इन इन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मैनेजर फॉर को मैनेजमेंट सिनेरियो सो दीज आर कंप्लायंस पॉलिसी विंडोज अपडेट पॉलिसी रिसोर्स एक्सेस पॉलिसी एंड पॉइंट प्रोटेक्शन डिवाइस कॉन्फ्रिगेशन ऑफिस क्लिक टू रन फॉर ओ सिक्सटी फाइव एप्लीकेशन एंड द क्लाइंट एप्लीकेशन सो फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल यू वॉन्ट टू मैनेज सम कंप्लायंस एंड कंफ्रिगेशन प्रोफाइल्स एंड एंड पॉइंट प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम इन ट्यून बट यू वॉन्ट टू मैनेज एप्लीकेशन डिप्लॉयमेंट फ्रॉम एसीशियम मे बी बिकॉज यू आर यूजिंग V application which is application virtualization application and Intune is not going to provide you that feature. So in this in this case, the best option is to use a configuration manager plus Intune in a core management environment. The third option is to move from configuration manager to Intune. So this scenario is very rare. Most of the organization wants to keep using configuration manager. even microsoft is also recommending to continue with continue using configuration manager it includes service that are beneficial for on premises devices for an example if you are using an application virtualization and application virtualization app or you are managing a managing a con server patching via configuration manager but if you want to use this option then we need to set up a hybrid active directory and azure active directory for your device so hybrid azure ad joint devices are joined to your on premises active directory and registered in azure ad so when device are in azure ad they are able to receive the policies and profiles that we are going to create in intune admin center portal then we need to set up a co management in sccm so that we can deploy uh in tune services and then we need to uh, set the mdm authority to in tune for all the users then in configuration manager we need also need to move all the workload from configuration manager to in tune and the last we need to uninstall the configuration manager client from the client machine and and enroll the device in in tune using group gpo option 4 to start from from scratch with microsoft 365 and intune subscription important catch is that this option applies to windows client device only if you are using windows server os such as windows server 2016 or 2019 then we need to use a configuration manager as standalone intune is not supporting uh, your server os you cannot deploy patches or you cannot manage the server using uh, intune in terms of process we need to deploy microsoft 365 and need to create user and groups and deploy intune including the mdm authority to intune so why we need to uh, enable the mdm authority to intune so that we can enable the automatic enrollment so when user is uh, logging log, logged in in their devices with azure active directory credentials and we enable the mdm authority in intune for all the devices machine is going to register in in azure and then then going to enroll in intune automatically on the existing devices we need to uninstall the configuration manager client and then device are ready to enroll in intune and for the further management so this is the fourth scenario where company is using on premises group policy to manage the device configuration this is a very old and traditional way of managing the device in an on prem environment intune is using configuration service provider also known as csp and oma uri to manage settings and feature on the devices this is similar to the gpo to manage the device in on premises environment so that when we want to manage the device using intune we need to use csp policies instead of group policies 
and these csp settings are already exposed by apple google and microsoft to manage the device for android management apis and emm api profiles are used to manage the android device for apple device these profiles use the device management preloads and on windows device these profiles use the window configuration service provider we can use group policy analytics in intune to evaluate the mdm support readiness and then take the decision whether we want to migrate from gpo to intune for managing your device so what we need to do we need to export the on premises gpo which you want to migrate and then import in in intune group policy analytics and evaluate the mdm support readiness so the last scenario is tenant to tenant migration in intune meaning you have a two or more intune in tenant or infrastructure and you want to merge them in a single tenant in this case we either we need to create all the policies from all the different intune tenant to your main intune tenant which is again a time consuming process and not a simple task or we can export and import the policies using microsoft craft and windows powershell and then we can evaluate whether we i mean we can evaluate what can be imported or exported versus what cannot be imported or exported so this table is giving us a, a very fair idea what we can import and export versus what we cannot import and export like in this case if you talk about application management then neither we can import anything nor we can export anything we i mean when we talk about win32 application microsoft store for business application microsoft google play application or android line of business application we cannot import we cannot export it when we talk about configuration profiles with respect to email configuration profile we can export it but at some extent we are not going to we cannot import it okay when we talk about profiles uh, vpn profiles we can export it okay but at some limit or some extent we cannot import it same thing for wifi also same thing applicable for your assignments if you already deployed some configuration profiles and you, you you can export it but you cannot import it because assignments are targeted to, to group ids in your new tenant the group id is totally different okay in the same way for endpoint security little stuff neither you can import it nor you can export it i hope this is an informative video for you Thank you very much for watching this video.